This character is responsible for the existence of Dead by Daylight. People were extremely excited to see this character come to Dead by Daylight, but they left disappointed. He became one of the most infamous killers in the game and now he is about to leave Dead by Daylight forever. This is the Leatherface controversy. <laughs> I'm sorry but I don't have any footage of me playing as Leatherface because I absolutely hate this killer. I would rather suck a penis of a horse than play as Leatherface. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this killer. But before that, smack that subscribe button if you want me to stick my big penis up your dad's butthole. Believe it or not, but Dead by Daylight was created by a few passionate indie developers. They had no idea that this game would even be successful. Forget about all of the licenses that you can find in Dead by Daylight today, because back then that was just a dream. But of course, to make a game like this, developers had to take some inspiration from somewhere. And that somewhere is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If somebody says a word hook, most of you will probably think of Dead by Daylight. And this whole idea of hooking survivors actually came from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Leatherface, who is one of the killers from this franchise, likes to hook survivors in the basement and that's where the basement idea came from it was also inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Clearly, DBD developers are fans of this movie, but that's not everything. One of the first killers in the game, the hillbilly, was inspired by Leatherface. You see, back then there were no licensed chapters, and having a Leatherface in your game, it was a dream that sounded like something impossible. So DBD developers decided to add their own version of Leatherface from Walmart and called him the Hillbilly. Even the map that came with the Hillbilly was inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, what the fuck? I, I think if this guy ever met Leatherface, the first thing he would do is suck the cock of Leatherface. Literally. Like... Uh, I'm sorry guys for immature jokes. I mean... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyway, surprisingly, this game was a success and soon after, Dead by Daylight acquired a license to bring Texas Chainsaw Massacre into their game. Isn't that amazing? We would finally be able to play the character who inspired developers to create this game in the first place. Isn't that awesome? That's what every single player of this game fought back then. But sadly, Texas Chainsaw Massacre wasn't even a new chapter. We didn't get any map. We didn't get any new survivor. We only got one killer. That killer would be Leatherface, also known as Booba. But other than him, we didn't get anything else. We got some awesome perks with this chapter, that's for sure. Uh, barbecue and chili was introduced. But it would later be revealed that this paragraph was rushed. That's exactly why we didn't get a new map or a new survivor. And they could have brought that to us. They had rights for that. But no, instead they decided to rush this paragraph and deliver only the new killer. And Leatherface is one of the most innocent killers in the game. People who play this killer, they never camp. They, they hook survivors in the basement and they never camp. They are not campers, you know. Okay, but on a serious note, Leatherface is one of the most infamous killers in the game. He is the only killer that is being associated with camping, also known as basement camping, because he's very good at downing multiple survivors with his chainsaw. Developers tried in the past to balance this killer, so people who play as Booba have harder time uh, basement camping, but it's very hard to fix things like that. It's literally build in his power so yeah there are a lot of boobas that are camping non-stop and people hate campers every time i get to play against booba i'm thinking oh my god this is booba is he a camper he got to be a camper because he's booba that's what i get associations like that and it's not good you know and it's literally unfixable that's why people hate booba i absolutely hate going against this killer even though i don't think he is op of course there are people who love this killer and that's great Great. If you love Booba, that's amazing. But you know what I love? I love the fact that we got characters like Michael Myers, Freddy, Leatherface, all of them in the same game. 
Uh, but recently, there have been leaks going around that soon Leatherface is gonna get removed from Dead by Daylight. And you like this character or no, it's very sad news, because there's nothing to guarantee us that other killers will not get removed from this game. For example, I believe that Pinhead is next to get removed from this game, and then we will have Fred removed. Take a look at what happened to Stranger Things. I think there might be a day in the future, far far in the future, but there might be a day when we will not be able to purchase any licensed chapters in this game anymore. Which is absolutely sad, because Dead by Daylight developers themselves have said that this game is like a horror museum, and if there are no iconic killers in this game anymore, if there are no iconic survivors in this game anymore, then this game is not a horror museum anymore. And you may say, oh, but there are only leaks and rumors, maybe it's fake, how do you know that Leatherface is gonna get removed? That's true, now there are only leaks and rumors going around, but in the files, like it's been data mined that DBD developers have changed perk names of Booba, which basically indicates that eventually all of these perk names are gonna get changed. Why would they do it? Take a look at Stranger Things. Right before uh, the, the removal of Stranger Things, developers have announced that every single perk that belongs to that chapter is gonna have a different name. So I believe that the names of the perks for Booba are gonna change too, even though like, I don't understand why the fuck would they change names of the perks. I mean, they are not licensed. Barbecue and Chili is not a licensed perk name. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. But there is this upcoming The Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game, which is basically a competition to Dead by Daylight. And according to rumors, I cannot confirm nor deny it, but some people speculate that this might be the primary reason why Dead by Daylight is losing this license. Because, you know, why the fuck would they give Dead by Daylight a license to this killer that is gonna be in another game which is competing with Dead by Daylight, you know what I mean? I will probably buy that game because it looks cool, but I do not support Dead by Daylight losing licenses. I absolutely love every single time when Dead by Daylight announces a licensed chapter because I'm a big horror movie fan. If we get The Shining chapter, I would probably dance with my naked penis out. You have no idea how happy I would be. But you know, I do not believe that we will get that anytime soon anyway. But comment what do you think? Are you a big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Do you even play Booba or are you like me and you can't stand this killer? Comment, I'm interested to, to read all of the comments. It took me a while to make this video, so please subscribe if you haven't done it before and I'll see you later. Ciao!